you know, first I wanted to say like, uh, like all glory to God, because you know I'm not gonna act like anything that happened wasn't you know my doing. It was all him. Um, as y'all know, I'm kind of honest about you know things that's happening on the team, and this win was like a great win. It was a great win because to be honest, there was no doubt through the beginning from the bus ride to the moment we left, there was no doubt in that we were here to win, we were here to get this dub, and we were here to go back home. It was a business trip, which Coach Baylor says when we come in for our team meeting before we get on the bus. You know, we knew why we were going, and we had a purpose. Um, credit to Emmanuel Ellerby, Alex Lyons, those guys behind us. Uh, offense, you know, I think this week, if they weren't going, we weren't let, allowing that to affect us. If we weren't going, they weren't allowing that to affect us, affect them. So once we both started clicking, I mean, you guys saw, you know, we got to rolling. Uh, as far as the D-line, uh, I think my coach does a great job of prepping us on, as you go into a game, you need to be, you know, your mindset has to change. Uh, I think we have a lot of characters on the team, you know, and, you know, we goof around a lot, we, we play a lot, we all this. But as we get closer to game day, our mindset has to change. Uh, we get more violent, uh, we talk less, we act different. Um, I'm probably not the best person to try to talk to come around pregame and everything because you probably won't get anything out of me. And that's the type of mindset that we had to take knowing that uh, I think the running back rushed for – over 100 yards, six games in a row, or it was something crazy. So you knew what you were getting. Um, and I think that's how we played defensively. You know, we were violent. Uh, everything we did, we tried to do with a purpose. And I feel like defensively, we stuck together and everybody trusted, you know, the cause. We trusted the coaches. The coaches were confident in whatever they called and we were confident in whatever they did call for us to run. And we were also gap sound. You know, something that he had been trying to work on week by week by week. You know, 10 guys doing one thing, one guy doing his own thing. And even if you watch the film, you know, there's some plays where 10 guys do their thing and one guy messes up. But the difference was this week was we all would coach him on the field during the game to say, hey, we got to eliminate that so we can get this dub. And I feel like that's what – this game was not a good win, but it was a growing win. It was a, it was a lot of growth on both sides of the ball. Uh, that felt real good, uh, primarily because we took that as a challenge. You know, we felt like always as a D line, we feel like we control the game. You know, you rush harder, they throw less. You stop the run, they don't run. You know, so we put that on our backs. Um, yeah, we took that pretty hard. You know, we really wanted to make a statement because we knew Charlotte relied heavy, heavy on their running back. So, you know, our coach, Coach O'Cam, also told us every week. I mean, I mean, every day of the week, you know, if you hold them to less than 100, we'll win the game. You hold 32 was another bigger back, uh, 20 was another bigger back. So if you hold all the running backs to under 100, we'll win. And I think we held them to 86 and uh, other running back, like I want to say like 40, 43, 42. So we took, we took pride in how we wanted to approach this game. Uh, senior night, so. Uh, when you start playing for other people instead of, you know, your own personal or moral goals, then you kind of step your game up. Uh, you know, when you dedicate your play to, like, Alex, Blasting Gang, uh, some of the D Brown, some of the great seniors on the team, you know, that eliminates any type of doubt. Um, you really want to do your job to the best of your abilities for them. So. I think the Utah running back is is probably one of the best we're going to see. He, as of right now, I think he is the best. Um, but when you got a good running back, you got a good O-line. So this will be another great challenge for us. Uh, we got to have another great week of practice to prep for them. So, I mean, we look forward to it. Because if we can get going again, I mean, this team is young. I mean, we had a meeting in here, and we figured out you know, as a D-line, I think we're losing one D-lineman. I mean, everybody else is coming back for either two or, or one, one or two years or more. So I think we're growing. It's going to be a good game.